Guys, 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 this video is probably going to be different from what you guys are used to seeing in this channel. I would like to remind you, this channel is not a gossip news channel. This channel is all about educating, uplifting, and helping you guys be great and help you guys avoid certain mistakes. Life isn't perfect or will ever be perfect, and we all go through challenges on a regular basis. But for the most part, a lot of us seek to be better and seek to achieve great things. But none of us are invincible. We are only human and we make mistakes. But it is very, very important that we equip ourselves with the right knowledge and prepare ourselves spiritually so if such incidents occur, we are better equipped and know how to handle it. So here is the backstory. A man by the name G. Michael Jones had been recently arrested for killing an Atlanta rapper who go by the name Trouble. But his real name is actually Mario Somonte Orr. He was born November 4th, 1987, and he is from Atlanta, Georgia. This rapper's resume or background isn't the purpose for this story, but what has occurred is very tragic, and I really don't wish for it to happen to anyone. The rapper Trouble was allegedly caught sleeping with Jamaica's girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. When Jamaica came, he hit her and supposedly shot the rapper and he passed away and later he had fled the scene but eventually he was caught this is a very messy situation i am assuming if he is a famous rapper he has many options and don't need to mess with anyone's significant other but that is a whole different conversation this story actually hits home because the same exact thing actually happened to me my ex who i had my first child with i ran up on her one time when my child was only a few months old. She had absolutely no idea that I was coming. I was stuck in a blizzard in a different state with my mom, not too far, about two hours away. But I was stuck in, I wanted to go to work that same day. So I woke up early, about 4 a.m., I drove in, got here about 6 a.m., and I had to be at work about 7.20 a.m. And when I came up, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I thought I was, I thought I was being prank or something. I was just so, so confused and very upset and furious. I couldn't even describe how frustrated I was. I thought of everything bad to inflict pain on both of them, but I took a big pause and realized that if I was to do something to hurt them, I would suffer even more on the long run. And most importantly, my child will grow up without having a father. I'm not even gonna sit over here and lie. It was not easy, it was very hard. It really took a lot of balls to walk away from that situation. I said what I said and left since I had to go to work. It was a very, very horrible day. Actually, it was a horrible month. I truly hope that this never happens to none of you, my friends. But this can happen to any one of us, regardless of how well you do your job, providing, caring, loving, protecting. Cheaters will always be cheaters. And sometimes we can't control every single factor. You can't fix or change people, but we all have to learn to walk away from situations sometimes and think about the bigger picture. And we need to stop being loyal to people who are not loyal to us. And most importantly, we need to learn to stop ignoring the warning signs. This story is very, very tragic. It's very, very unfortunate. I don't really like gossip and content, but I like to inspire you guys and motivate you guys all the time that regardless of what you are currently going through, this shall pass. We all go through challenges. And in the Quran, I am Muslim, it says, Allah or God will never present us with a situation that we cannot handle. I believe every challenge that we go through, whether it's regularly or sometimes occasionally, is all a test to prepare us for the next level of our life. My friends, I love you guys. I really appreciate all your support. Really, it means a lot, you know? But make sure you subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss out the next time I upload. Comment what you think about this video. Please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And thank you again for all the support. As always, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.